Hello everyone, welcome to Casa MDLR. And for those of you that are new to this channel, welcome to Off The Water. This is a place where I can do all things that don't require the act of fishing. So today, what are we gonna do? Check this out. Christian right here has got speckled trout that he caught at the jetties and uh, we got two of them. So he's got a dish that he's making. And with the second speck, I'm gonna be making my own dish. It's called, I don't know what it's called, honestly. I, it was just a creation that I did, but I'm gonna recreate it because I got my little recipe card right here. Cilantro lime speckle trout with hatch green chilies. It was phenomenal. So I do think we're gonna be able to take down his dish. He is making speckle trout breakfast. Son, that's the pan that I'm gonna be using. The little one or the big one? The little one. Um, yeah, so uh, we're fighting over the kitchen, but Christian is doing a speckled trout eggs benedict. He homemade the English muffins, and uh, he's oh my gosh, look what happened here, y'all! <laughs> it's trial and error, it's trial and error. Oh air, my man. gosh, it happens to the best things. Look at these, yeah. So, huh? I don't know about eating speckled trout and then egg yolk. I mean, if for those of you who've had Eggs Benedict before, you know that it's like a runny yolk and uh, the eggs are poached. And then you're gonna throw that on speckled trout right there. It just does not seem like a texture and taste that would go together. So what I gotta do is hurry up and get my creation going. I didn't do any food prep. I just finished doing some editing for uh, the main channel on Patreon, and uh, I'm behind the power curb, so what I'm gonna do is put on our action hat, and uh, yeah, let's just turn to. Here we go, check that out. That is our speckled trout right there, and let's get all of our ingredients over here. I was gonna do a linguine that's gonna go on top, or the speckled trout is gonna, oh, blah, blah. I can't even talk, y'all. I was gonna do linguine, and we were gonna put the speckle trout on top of that for a really great taste, but we don't have time. So, because of that, we're just gonna create everything minus the linguine. Uh, here we go, cilantro, an onion, we need some garlic, we need some lime, okay, we need some capers, and I do believe that's gonna be it. Speckle trout fillets, we got two of them. A can of green hatch chilies, check. Two garlic cloves, minced, check. This is white. Yeah, that's white. Uh, man, that kind of has a red tint. If it's red, we are gonna really have bad breath for a long time. One medium-sized shallot we had to improvise. Thank you, H-E-B, for not carrying shallots. Two teaspoons of capers, check. Cilantro, check. Lime that's juiced, check. Sea salt, black pepper, butter, olive oil. All right, let's get it all measured out. Oh my gosh, this is what happens when Christian cooks. There is never anything like cooking utensils are thrown all over the place. Okay, where's my knife? My gosh, my knife is not there. Nothing is where it's supposed to be. Where is it? Clo two cloves, white garlic, minced, okay. Okay, there goes the garlic. All right, here we go. How much lime, half a lime juiced? What I just made takes like a full kitchen of staff. You gotta have the guy who does the bread, the guy who does the sauces, the guy who does the, the pan and the fish. I did it all. Yeah, well, like I'm trying to do it all, but I have no utensils, nothing. Like I had to scrounge for a knife. Okay, so we're gonna heat our cast iron skillet. Oh, one can of green hatch chilies. I gotta roughly chop these things too. I hate these Pamper Chef utensils. There's a, a new can opener inside that drawer, but man, you need a PhD in order to learn how to open that darn thing up. Sizzling. All right, everyone, so here's the moment of truth. I'm gonna go ahead and try one of these. No, you have to get Mama or Elijah to try it. Because you're gonna like rate your own as a 10 or something. Dad, I mean, come on, look at 
this. No. Look at this thing. It is it's most definitely tin. We're not going to add these in increments. We're just going to throw it all in there. And we're going out with a bang. Fourth of July style right here. Um, that's probably right there. That's, that's good enough. This channel is all about just shooting from the hip. All right. I, I don't have the time to actually mince these down, y'all. Normally, I'm going to be a lot more attention to detail, but we just we can't afford that right now. Two teaspoons of take capers. I think we're going to throw two tablespoons of capers. Actually, one, maybe one tablespoon of capers will probably do. We have a problem. That's probably why I did two teaspoons. That looks good, huh? There, we'll throw those in there. I love capers. If y'all haven't tried capers with fish, they are phenomenal. All right, so here we go. That should be more than enough capers. Let's put that lid back on so that we don't have an accident. Then we need some cilantro that's going to be chopped. Here we go. Okay, so there's the cilantro. Let's roll, baby. All right, my butter is good to go. It's about to start get like going off in here. Look at all of that. That is a lot of goodness, everyone. What was this used for? Butter, maybe? All right, Shannon is now attempting to eat Christian's foul creation. That just does not look good. This is French cuisine. Oh my lord. I was holding back tears. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not gonna lie, it's really good. Oh my it's god. Really good. Speckled trout though with egg. You can't taste the fish at all. Like, I'm, I'm offended. Chills. I've got chills right now. What? All right, I'm gonna retaste my own food well, because I didn't. All right, yeah, let's go. Whatever. Let's see well, this. Let me move so you can taste it. Here we go, y'all. Dang, that's a big old bite. You don't taste the speckled trout. It's beautiful. That's a really good. Oh God, I mean, like eggs Benedict. That is really good. Let's try eggs Benedict. Wow, when we whatever. This, when we I'm gonna go video, back over there and cook. When we started this video, we said we wanted to make trout and eggs, but make it good. And that's exactly what we did. All right. It is phenomenal. But that, that's it. not making trout and eggs. Please. Why can't you just do eggs Benedict like this for breakfast without trout? I mean, because the thought of it is just ugh. You throw that on a menu, people are gonna freaking leave your restaurant. I got this idea from the Sony Food Review Show, but they were making theirs with conch. Okay, where's my speck? Here goes my speckled trout. Now we need some pepper and some salt. Here goes pepper. I know one thing, y'all have messed up this kitchen. I know the loser has to clean it. Okay, there goes the pepper. Now we need some salt. We're gonna use the sea salt variety. Fine sea salt right Those here. Discards. Those were discards. You see, you see how he he all went that. through all of that, and I don't get no do-overs. Early bird gets the worms. That's what they always say. Like I had no, I had no um, prepping bowls or anything. Are you telling me this because I'm the judge? So no, the I'm just saying because I'm saying. I couldn't even cook my fish in well, stages. You made a mess in this kitchen. I, like I said, my dish right there could be served in a five-star Michelin restaurant. Your dish Whatever. Is good, you are a flaw, flaw, flaw. You could serve that to Chef Ramsay. 
Yeah, okay, Christian's gonna serve this at a five-star <laughs> restaurant. Those are discards. That looks like a burnt-up hockey These puck. These are the ones that made it. Those are discards. We'll get that going, and now we're gonna salt and pepper the opposite side. Ooh, man, that trout is cooking quick. A little bit of salt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, y'all. That was a lot of salt. There we go. How's that dude do? Like, like that? The Turkish guy. Is he Turkish? Yeah, he works in Turkey. Oh, okay. No, I thought he was from like Saudi. It's the same area. They're all like. Uh, <laughs> There's a lot of Turkish people <laughs> out there in Saudis that are just complaining right now. I don't know what to say. <laughs> we can say whatever we want to say. It's all in good fun. I just don't want to get demonetized. Sorry, guys. <laughs> all right. So now that the the top or what used to be the bottom, the top right there, what you see is cooked. It is done. We're gonna sprinkle some of our covering. Now you gotta take in mind that this was the pan that we were supposed to be using, and all I would have done was just scoot our topping to the side, but there we go. You get that inside there. Just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna throw, you gotta watch out, because that flame is pretty hot. The butter is going up. That is cilantro and lime. The cilantro is not cooked but it'll kind of soften up with all that heat and then the lime you just smell everything coming together y'all all right and then we're pretty much done i don't want to really serve the wife some what do you call it uncooked cilantro leaves so i'm trying my best let's flip the fish one more time normally again i would not do this but that cilantro up on the top has to get cooked. Otherwise, it's gonna just, it's not gonna taste right. And good for me, I saved some of this because I have the, the great thing of foresight so that I know these things. Saved a little bit for last. Just move it around. All right, fellas, this dish is Voila. How long did that take me? How long is this thing going for? Eight minutes, plus the two minutes before, 10 minute meal right there, y'all. Bam, done. We just don't have the linguine. Okay, and my dish does not require the use of a plate. So you get served <gasps> what is this? just like the way you do at Cracker Barrel when they give you your skillets. What do we use so that we don't burn our table? I was about to call them Mick Muffins. Sure. I have these. There we go. Enter the champion, king of Iron Fist tournaments. I feel like there should be a like a mercy rule. Since Christian tried his own first, I'm gonna try mine first. And I am very harsh on myself, y'all. If you've watched my catch and cooks on the MDLR channel, then you know I don't hold any punches against myself. I'm gonna get some to some cool big time meat. Burn. No, you eat fish just like this, the good way. Oh gosh, it smells so good. Mm. <laughs> I just wish we had the linguine. It's an incomplete dish. Sorry y'all, well, I'm gonna have my wife, is it recording? Yeah. Have my wife hold the camera kind of close to me. Let's see, what? Okay, right, okay, well you can see. I can see you. Okay, can't here we go. But I gotta talk a little bit louder because the mic is meant to be really, it's a lav mic. But here we go. Just the way I remembered it. That, no, that's really good. <laughs> I just can't take this seriously. No, this is really good. I can't. Guys, like, let's be. This oh, is freaking phenomenal. Go man. look at the way I cooked my Here. food. I tried yours. I said yours was good. This is like school lunch. 
Skull lunch. Here, I was giving you. Oh. Don't taint my food. Like, you already put Eggs Benedict in my dish and it doesn't go. Whatever. Oh, okay. Elijah's gonna be the true judge. I think it would be good, right? I have but to be the judge because Elijah doesn't want to taste it. It's missing something, like. Like a Linguine? Yeah. Exactly. It's an incomplete dish. I didn't have enough time. <laughs> Christian, look at our kitchen is a disaster. Like a tornado came through here. And is that even recording? No, I have oh. to turn it off the batteries though. Mm. My god, mama. You gotta try it. I had to wash that down. It's good, but it, it really doesn't. You need the linguine with it. It's just like it's like my taste buds are eating it and they think they're like, wait, where's the rest? It's missing it. That's literally the signals my my tongue was sending to my brain. That is phenomenal. Take a bite of this. Is it like super hot? No. It, it's just, I mean, it's a phenomenal dish. Fresh fish, it's the way I remembered it, minus the linguine. Can I do my outro on your camera for my little thing? I don't care. I think that... It's kind of hard to compare the two because yours is just the fish and you can taste the, the flavors. Like, it's delicious. Christian's, you can't really taste the fish. It's just like other flavors. So you see? You can taste there. my fish. The fish is there and it tastes delicious. All right, you guys, look. I want to I wanna say it like this. Imagine you're going to listen to music, right? Classical music. And you see a lonely guy on the street. He's really, really good at playing the violin, right? He's over there. He's playing it. He's playing his violin. And it sounds awesome. It. it sounds amazing. But then across the street, it's like you hear a beautiful orchestra. There's a cello. There's the violin, the viola, a whole ensemble. And it just, you hear it and it brings tears oh to your eyes. God, that's, what? That's the difference we're working with here, guys. And I just, that's going to be the end for me. I'm going to play, replay the outro. That's all I got to say. Orchestra versus violin. Anyhow, for those of you that went to public school the way I did, this right here, it's not a public school lunch. That is right there. I mean, all we gotta do is take a look at this over here. Look at this, this is what Christian tried to hide. That's what he was trying to freaking feed us. I'm talking. I literally go through trial and error. I don't care. This is delicious. Why is mama eating all of my food? I ate some of hers too. <laughs> yeah, but you're eating mine like that's a meal. Mm. Well, that I am that very is a hungry. delicious meal right there. That's the reason why it made it to a recipe card because if my dish does not get like a 8 or 9 or 10, then it's not going on a recipe card because we don't want to make that. We don't want to serve bad fish to our guests. I mean, they won't come over no more. And this right here, that's a party pleaser you right there. You just can't compare your two milk. Whatever. They're Somebody's both, sleeping on a sofa tonight. They're, they're, both, they're both very it's just good. No, contest. no it, it's, they're just completely different. No. They're both very it's good. It's like the eighth grade. It's like it theory. depends on if somebody wants to cook something that takes 10 to 15 minutes or something that takes like an hour and a half, two hours and makes all that mess. So. Well, which one are you going to go with? Me personally, yeah, that I one. I am not doing that, but it was really good. Whatever. Anyhow, th this this is just that's a load of bull. Did you want some of this? <laughs> yeah, I wanted some of that. <laughs> darn it, that's so dang good. It's okay. We've got some of this left over. Y yeah, exactly. Leftovers. There will be nothing left over from this I dish made, right I here. I made enough to to serve and do that. This was the the people pleaser one. Am I no, this that is the this is the crowd pleaser. Are you eating that? Now? Do you want it? No. I guarantee we go to the neighbors and say, "Hey, would you like some fish?" And they're gonna look at that and they're gonna like, "Uh, yeah, I'll go with this." Let's no, blindfold. you're going we'll too far. We blindfold them and feed it to them. All righty. Well, we're gonna doing. we're gonna bring this one to an end, y'all. Um. Apparently, our judge, the neutral judge, me, I think mine is better. I, Christian is, is, it's a really good one. And Hold on. The what, homemade, were the, what were the... Which one's better? That's it. Which one's better? We yeah. don't, I don't, don't live time. in a world don't where we're best. all winners. Everybody doesn't get a trophy in this house. Damn, I should not have been the judge.
good. See? Yours has more like. I refuse to clean that refrigerator. Or the refrigerator. But I refuse to clean this kitchen. I mean, because Christian destroyed it. Look at this. Every dish we have is in its sink. He destroyed it. I don't want to clean this up at all. all. Right, you're the winner. This is like my little. <laughs> See? Shannon just said, I am the winner. That's the way I roll. There's absolutely no shot. <laughs> if I all right. Anyhow. <laughs> There's clearly no winner. Both of these dishes are absolutely phenomenal. If you were here to be a judge, you, why don't you all drop it in the comments below? We're going to leave our kitchen the way it is until these videos get published and y'all tell us who the winner is. Absolutely no winner. By, if you thumbs up my video, then that's going to be awesome. Okay, well, let's just put it this way. Just comment. I got to think about this one. Yeah, just make your comment. Who do you think the winner is? This kitchen is not getting cleaned until y'all let us know who the winner is. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. Let us know if you enjoy these types of videos. I'm pretty sure y'all will. And yeah, whenever you have some time, create something like this. There is no recipe. I can take a snapshot of the recipe card, which is, where is it at? Because I don't, I'm lazy and I don't want to snapshot it. So we're just gonna show you the recipe card right now. There it is right there, y'all. We'll leave that. And then you can pause the video. Then you can take a look at this right here. This is the stages that we were supposed to go through in order to cook everything. So pause the video whenever you need to. That's the way you cook it. Don't forget to use some linguine. I hope you enjoyed it again. If you did, click that thumbs up button and we will catch y'all next time when we're off the water.